YouTube, it is Jasmine and I am here with the video. We about to talk about Candy and the Gang. And yes, I've been a little MIA, but I've been MIA because honestly, there's no shows on TV right now to really review. Um, I really only watch Housewives of Atlanta, Married to Medicine, none of these are on TV right now. Um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, not on TV right now. Portia Van Family, um, what does it matters not on tv right now off hope it never comes back <laughs> sorry portia um so yeah it really hasn't been anything to review so i've just been you know watching um what have i been watching i've been watching the real which i'm about to do a video about the real i've been watching uh euphoria which it's off um i was watching ghost which is off everything i'm watching is off insecure is off just everything uh, insecure is off never coming back <laughs> everything is off so um my reality tv has been very minimum um because there's just nothing on love is blind they drop new episodes so i watched all of love is blind i might do a youtube video on love is blind just so you guys can hear my take on my my taking my thoughts on what i thought about season two um what else i've just honestly been watching a lot of home shows because as i've mentioned in one of my previous videos my boyfriend and i were about to buy a house um so i just have like a very interior design-ish uh mentality so i am excited to interiorize interior design my home so i've just been watching a lot of um hgtv flipper flop with Tark and uh christina I have recently stumbled upon this HT, HGTV show called Married to Real Estate, which is with uh, Mike in Egypt. And when I tell Sherrod, and when I tell you I am in love with Mike in Egypt, like instant, just fell in love with them, went and watched all of her uh, flipping version episodes and seasons. And now every day, every like week, I'm dying for a new episode of Married to Real Estate with Mike in Egypt really really love them they're out of atlanta i would love for egypt to come and design my house i mean you know put it in the atmosphere <laughs> so yeah that's just been what i what i've been up to um so yeah let's talk about candy and the gang candy and the gang aired sunday usually i watch my shows on monday and i do the review right after i watch the show but this monday um i actually watch this week I actually watched the show on Monday. So I didn't really feel like reviewing it. I don't know why I didn't review it on Monday. So usually once it hits like Friday, if I hadn't reviewed it, usually I won't review it. But you know, right now I actually have some free time because my son is taking his morning nap. Um, I'm off of work today, I'm off on Friday. So I have free time. So I was like, you know what? Let me just record this video. So um, let's talk about Candy and the Gang. Let's get right on into it. So Candy and the Gang, amazing. I really enjoyed the first episode. Um, I really, really liked it. And I'm definitely going to tune in every week. What I like about it is it felt real. So as a viewer, I felt like the things that they were discussing actually really happened in a restaurant, right? Um... I had to pull up on Google some of the cast. So let's talk about Dominique. So I love Dominique. Um, what I like about her is I like that, I like her career in dance. So she's a professional dancer. And I think she said she's danced for uh, Megan the Stallion and some more people. So I thought that that was really cool. And um, one thing, the reason why I like her like dance side and career is because she was like, uh, I can just leave for months at a time and come back and still have a job. And I think that where I am in my life, um, work-life balance is really important. So I've had corporate America jobs. I've had, you know, just all types of jobs and careers um, in my life. And what I learned most about my last corporate position was I did not have a per proper work-life balance, right? So like I couldn't leave for months on end and then come back and still have a job. I couldn't even really travel because 
my life consumed around work and where I just I am in my life now my life is not consumed around work um, my life consumes around my life and work just happens to be a part of my life so every time so like I'm really big on work-life balance like I need to be able to work this amount of hours and I need to be able to go home to my family and I need to just have freedom and balance right I don't want to be at work all day all night I don't want I've done that I my daughter had a freaking babysitter who was practically her nanny she took care of her because i was working 7 a.m to 9 p.m um i very traumatic experience i would be like sleeping wake up in the middle of the night out of my sleep because i'm like oh my gosh did i order this for this group i was an event manager and planner so i planned corporate groups i planned weddings so just like so so traumatic like just always waking up like oh my god did i order this screen for this group that's coming at eight o'clock in the morning oh my gosh i can't remember let me call the hotel at four o'clock in the morning and tell this person to go in my office and get get this business card and let me call them at 6 a.m to make sure yada 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 so i'm done with that i'm done with that in my life um i'm fortunate enough to be in the position where that no longer has to be my life so i'm very thankful i'm very grateful so i'm happy w that dominique i i really felt that when she was like oh i'm able to leave for months at a time and come back and still have a job and you know she works at the restaurant but she has something that she's passionate about which in atlanta is pretty you know normal a lot of people have passions um let's talk about chandrika Chandrika, she is from Buffalo, New York. She's, I think she said she's been living in Atlanta for like four or five years. Um, <laughs> she, I, I actually, I, I've eaten at OLG two or three times, right? Two or three times, yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've run into Chandrika and I don't think she had an attitude or anything. She's very friendly to me. I think she's one of those people like, what you give is what she gives. So um, I'm always a friendly, nice person. So I probably give her niceness. So she gave me nice back. So I'm pretty sure I've interacted with her. Um, I think I may have seen Dominique at OLG too. As far I know, I, pro I definitely probably saw her. Never didn't have any interaction with her because she was just making the drinks and um, I wasn't at the bar. I want to talk about Philip. Um, Philip. So Phil, Philip, whatever. So they said they brought him. Oh, they took him. They they recruited him. As in they stole him from a restaurant group that he had been with for 16 years, which is so Philip has a hospitality background. I have a hospitality background. So I think that's pretty major that Philip felt confident. I think that says a lot about Candy's business that Philip felt confident enough to leave a restaurant group. So restaurant groups is basically a corporation that has either mo multiple restaurants or multiple affiliations and they make up a company. So he left a company that he had been with, a restaurant group, for 16 years to go work for Candy. I think that says a lot about Candy's business because I'm going to be honest, I don't know that I would do that. I don't know that I would leave like a big corporation to go work for um, a small own business but what i did a lot what he said was that he always wanted to work for a black owned business which i totally understand that coming from him being that he has a hospitality background i have a hospitality background so i know what that feels like you know when you're working for like you know not black owned business so it is positive and it's negatives behind it as well so that was really cool. I was very interested in his story, but then I honestly didn't like some of the things I heard from Philip. Like, um, I understand Philip's mindset. I think Philip has a more corporate mindset. So he feels like when you come to work, you should be at work. But the way he was talking to them, he was talking to them like they were children. And um, I'm an adult, obviously. And I'm very big on in the workplace adults i don't care what level you're at i don't care if you're my boss i don't care whose boss you are but i'm very big on um how you talk to people and you don't need to talk to adults like you're talking to children which is very big at my current job um i noticed that people don't talk to me like how they would talk to the children the the people under 18 the people 25 and under how about that um that's also because I guess maybe my demeanor and how I carry myself. I always carry myself as a professional um, because when you're on a job, you should be professional. 
especially in my line of work specifically but i did not like how he was talking to them because i feel like at the end of the day we're all adults and i don't care what i don't care what point you're trying to get across just don't talk to me like i'm a child because everything he was telling them i'm pretty sure they already know and i think they and when i say they i'm talking about chandrika and dominique and brandon and yeah these three um they know how they're supposed to act but they're just in a they're in a space where you know they're comfortable they've been working at olg since it's open and they're just comfortable and confident in their position so, so, so i say all the time I, I have this uh associate who i work with and i tell him all the time i'm like yeah you know we're buying a house i may not be at this location any longer i may like work depending on where we purchase our house i may go to a location that's closer to my new home i'm like but you know what kind of stops me from doing that is i've already built relationships here i've already established myself in this location so people know who i am they know you know what i'm about they know that that, that i'm dependable and i can get away with things and I, this has come out of my mouth to him i can get away with things at this store that i would have to if i were to go to another location i would have to build that whole report over again and i'm not necessarily interested in that um just because like let's admit it when we all get comfortable on a job i'm not saying that we slack off i don't slack off by any means but you know if i'm five minutes late like i'm not stressing i'm not blowing through red lights because i'm five minutes late i'm cool calm if i need to leave for any reason y'all i gotta go deuces see you tomorrow like i have no hesitation on doing any of those things for one because of work-life balance and for two because i've already built a rapport so i think the way philip talks to dominique brandon and chandrika chandrika is a little um i don't like the way he talks to them so but i do like philip because i understand like i said because of who what his background i have the same background as background as philip working in hospitality catering uh events like that's that's my lingo so i totally understand where he comes from but eh, he needs to watch how he talks to them um and also because it is a privately owned business like you don't have to run it like a corporation like in all aspects you know there's certain things that you may want you may you can have structure without running it like a corporation you know when you work for a smaller entity of something it should be more fun it should be a little bit more lax you know it's like ultimately a mom and pop you know i'm not coming in here and these people have on suits you know it's relaxed it's chill you can interact with your uh customers on a different level it doesn't have to be corporate like very corporate so i think um Philip, Chandrika, and Dominique and Brendan will bump heads for that matter. So Dominique and Brendan, they're kind of like in a little relationship or whatever. They date, I guess. Um, they're a cute little couple. I, I really like, like I said, I really like Dominique. Um, Brendan, he seems cool. I, when I was, in, I was impressed that Brendan actually asked dominique on a date impressed because for one, I've been in a relationship for damn near six years, so I don't really know how like the dating world goes right now like like i don't know if men actually ask women on dates or like but he basically was like hey what you doing you you want to go here and she was like oh you asked me on a date you know type of thing so like i thought that that was really cute to see on tv especially because nowadays i don't know that men ask women on dates i think it's just more of hey let's hang out type of thing i don't know but um Candy and Todd. I love Candy. I, what I like about Candy is Candy was taking up for her staff. So, <clears throat> which is a good thing and it could be a bad thing depending on how hard you go for them. But I like that Candy was like, um, okay, now he's tripping or Candy doesn't understand a lot of the things that Todd and Philip understand. Candy just is kind of, I'm going to give you a pass type person or as long as the job gets done type of person. Um, but Todd and Philip, they're more of structural people. So they want it done this way. They want it done at this time. You know, they want a little bit more structure as I think I'm more of a, I'm more of a structured person too. I, I would probably fall in the category of Todd and Philip. Um, but then sometimes I can also, depending on the person, I'll fall in line of candy. It was cool seeing all the three, uh, sisters, Joy, uh, Mama Joyce, not Joyce, Mama Joyce, <laughs> Aunt Nora, Aunt Bertha, they were all, you know, filming. You can see them interacting with the guests at the restaurant. Um, 
a lot of things happened in the episode one i'm mainly just talking about the cast and just what i saw not exactly what happened but if you want to talk about what happened let's talk about how the power had done going out and then people don't have a generator in a restaurant so that's the difference between <laughs> working for a corporation and working for a privately owned business so you know <laughs> <laughs> at the corporation down at the corporation they're gonna have the generator baby so when the lights go out baby we can keep operating you know so it, it's little things like that um which i am surprised that a restaurant wouldn't have a generator because if the power went out too long the food temperatures and that type of stuff are supposed to stay a certain at a certain degree so if the power went out for let's say three hours you gotta probably throw a lot of the food in the garbage so that's interesting I wonder if they got that generator. <laughs> Did they go down? Um, Todd explained why they didn't have the generator. He said because you have to go to the city and yada, yada, yada. But to be honest, when you're running a business, like, I, I shouldn't say this because I've never run a business. So I shouldn't be like, you should do whatever it takes for your business. They're busy people. So I guess, you know, it's like when they get to it. But they have all the assistants and stuff. They could just send one of their assistants or one of their workers down. Hey, take care of this for me type of thing. So that's interesting. Patrick Dallas. I don't really too much remember Patrick. Um, Brian, the guy Brian, he works at the Blaze location. I actually, I need to take a trip to Atlanta because I would like to try to, I would like to eat at Blaze. I just want to see how it is. Torian, Melvin. I don't think we've been introduced to Melvin yet. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to come back every week and do reviews. I, when I do my future reviews, I'll be actually talking about the episode. But for this first one, and because, you know, it happened on Sunday and it's already Friday, I'm just talking about the cast. And it looks like it's going to be really good. I'm really excited for this. Um, a, I'm always excited to see black people on TV. I'm always to see black positivity on TV. This is something really positive. Yeah, they're going to go through, you know, the things that, that it takes to run a business and the negatives of running a business i'm not like frantic by that but um it seems really I, I really enjoyed the first episode so i'm excited to see uh some more of it so yeah that's all i got for y'all today y'all have a great day and a great weekend and zeus's